Now, owning a dog can be a wonderful thing, providing companionship, unconditional love, dogs don't judge, and of course, making you get out and take a walk as well, which is a great thing. However, it's something that should be considered very carefully. Vet Care's Alex Melrose joins us in the Harvey Norman Lounge to look at what you should be asking before you bring home that pooch. Morning, Alex. Morning. So it's a big decision, isn't it? Long-term commitment. What should you be thinking yeah, about? Yeah, pets for life. Dog and yeah, well, yeah. they are. So you've got to think about it. Well, look at your lifestyle to start with. So, you know, look at the, the type of house you're in, the size of the yard, the hours that you're working, um, size of your car. That's, well, that's a big thing. This is what I was talking to you about before because yeah. we've got a dog, a lotion cross. She's about yay big, yeah. not a huge Ten dog. Ks maybe. I wanted a Labrador. I'm uh, very glad we didn't get it because with a uh, husband and three kids, the Labrador wasn't actually going to fit in the family car. Yeah. Well, not, depends how much stuff you've got lying around. Lots it? of stuff going, going yeah, lying around, yeah. actually. Alex, that's yeah. what my boots are. Surprise, for. surprise. Putting all my stuff yeah. in. So you do, and I've got a boat as well. The dog, the Labrador's not going to fit on the boat, is it? The lotion fits perfectly. So what should you be looking for um, when, you, when you're thinking about breeds and things? Well, yeah, uh, uh, you've got size, you've got, then you've got temperament. So you've got to look at how active, um, you know, the whole family is. You've, you've got pretty active kids, so you could handle a dog that was... You know, doing some pretty full-on things. You, you know, like terriers and things. Yeah, terriers versus again versus a lab that's pretty mellow. Mm -hmm. Lotion's quite a mellow dog as well. Is that what you've? I got. I researched her and we got her because she was good nature. She's a yeah. bit of a lotion cross, so she doesn't molt either. Good for when you've got allergies. Yeah, really good. So yeah, how much how much cleaning do you want to do around the house? Is it going to be inside all the time or, or partly outside in a kennel? Mm. Um, I think the, the the best thing you did there, Mel, is you actually came up with a plan. So you said you did research. And, that, and that's something that a lot of people don't do. And part of that research is often researching where you're going to get your dog from. Yeah, so once you've done that sort of research, I mean, where, where are the places that you can get your dog from? Yeah, so ideally, um, you would go to the shelters, go to SPCA and, and adopt a, an unwanted dog. You know, they get something incredible like, I think it's 20,000 unwanted animals through the Auckland SPCA alone mm. every year. Um, so if you can help out there, that's a, that's a great thing to do. If you do decide to go for uh, a pedigree dog, um, you know, which is what I did, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not judging, mm. um, you investigate the breeder really, really well. So look at the, all the breeders in, that you could visit, ring them up, see how open they are to you visiting, and go, and go to their site, go to their house, go to where they're doing. The, the dog breeding and actually check out what the vibe's like. Mm, because know. most are reputable, this is for yeah, sure, but yeah. certainly there are cases. When I was a child, so this is long, long ago, long, long ago, uh, we had a dog who was a pedigree and she ended up getting a um, genetic disease because she'd been inbred right, with our yeah, sort of yeah. brothers and sisters too far down the train yeah. and there was an issue there. Yeah. It, Obviously, the SPCA is a great thing, or, or, or a refuge is good to go for somewhere for most people. But if you have any allergies and things, you have to be a bit choosier about what you're getting. So yeah, it's so not you, for everyone. You, yeah, so you could get you know something that's a poodle or a poodle cross that doesn't drop here, and that you know your your child or yourself don't yeah. don't react to. So what what are some of the issues that the pure breeds have that you've got to think about? Well, it's a, it's actually a little bit of a fallacy there because I, I was I was sort of doing quite a lot of research on this, and and what they've found out is that the the human breeding of dogs has been going on for such a short mm. period of time that even the crossbreds that you know we, we come across in the shelters what they tend to do is they tend to inherit all of the genetic problems from all the different breeds that they're crossed with all right so you know it's 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 actually fine to go and get a pedigree from that point of view as long as you do your homework so basically just like humans, you don't know what you're going to get. Could be anything. Uh, you just got to do a little bit of research, and also yeah. factor in things like uh, cost and what you're going to feed them and how you're going to look after them. Hey, thank you so much for coming in, Alex. My pleasure. Being a pleasure. Dogs are great, and if you think that your pooch or pet has what it takes, then make sure you enter them in our Pet of the Week competition. Simply upload a pic of your pet to be in to win fifty dollars to spend at petpost.co.nz.